Hello everyone and today welcome back to my channel and today iPadOS 16.3 is finally out to the public. And that means it's available for the iPad Air 3, iPad Mini 5, all the way up to the iPad Pro 6th generation. So let's take a look at the download size. Download size is not very big at all, it's 423.8 megabytes. That's on my iPad Air 3. It was about any download size or so, but it will depend on your device you have. So let's take a look at the bell number. So if you go into settings, then about, then if you tap on the iPad OS version, you can see the bell number. So the bell number is 20D47. So this update introduces security keys for Apple ID and includes other enhancements, bug fixes, and security updates for your iPad. So this update brings a minor changes, uh, maybe a whole lot of new features and changes as well. So the first thing is, if you go into settings, then tap on your name. Then if you're going to password and security, I don't want you all guys to show my email. Oh, there we go. So you now have the option to add security keys. So if you tap on add security keys, it says a FIDO certified security key is the third party hardware that you can use to verify your identity when you sign in. <clears throat> So you have strongest account security and replaces certification code. So if you have a FIDO thing, you can add security keys. And I don't want to add that. So if you go back here, I don't want you all guys to show my email again. So if you scroll down, then go to advanced data protection. So advanced data protection is now available worldwide on iPadOS 16.3 where it was available on some certain countries before. So it says iCloud encrypts your data to keep it secure. Advanced data protection uses end-to-end -end encryption to ensure that the iCloud data types listed here can only be decrypted on your trusted devices, protecting your information even in the case of a data breach in the cloud. So you have this here and so that's it. Apple Ads support for a new HomePod where it was announced um, last week. So if you go into Home, so you can now, uh, so you can now, uh, so Apple now adds a support for uh, HomePod, second gen, where it was announced last week. So you can, so you can connect the HomePod to Home app. So, unfortunately, I don't have a HomePod, but that's okay. Well, as far as the new features, uh, well, that's about it. So, as far as the bug fixes, well, this update has uh, contained some bug fixes. So, th so, this update fixes some issues. And a lot of people had some issues on 16.2 and now has been fixed in 16. In 16.3. Well, I don't have any bugs on 16.3. Well, it seems to be pretty fine for me. And as far as the security updates, so if we're going to Safari, then click on this, then type the link, and you will see the Apple security updates. And if you scroll down, you will see the iOS 16.3 and iPadOS 16.3. If you go into there, then you can see the dialogues. So many. So we have the Apple Mobile File Integrity. So impact um, an app may be able to access user sensitive data. And the script and the description is this issue was addressed by enabling hardware runtime. And there are so many dialogues for that. Well, let's answer the question. Should you update to iPadOS 16.3? Well, you can update it right now. Well, so... As far as the overheating, well... After installing the update... The device is... Um, a little bit warm, 
but on the front, it's um, it's very hot. Well, let's unlock the device, and there we go. So as far as the performance, so performance seems to be quite great. So, so very fast when scrolling through the apps or when you open music it seems to be pretty fast well maybe if we open some apps like um, clock or something like that and when you play video games on iPad, it's pretty much faster. But sometimes it will lag. Well, as far as the battery life, well, battery seems to be quite great. Well, it's not that great for me. So if you're going back into settings, then go to battery. So you see, I have 1 hour and 40 minutes of screen on time and 4, uh, four minutes of screen off time. It's about 100% of my battery. Well, it says large, last charge to 100%. So, well, this one, here we go. So, yesterday I have 1 hour and 57 minutes of screen on time and 0 minutes of screen off time. It's about 50% of my battery. And now I have one hour and forty minutes of screen off time, screen on time, and, and four minutes of screen off time. So it's about thirty percent of my battery. Well, well, it's pretty much great. As far as the future updates, well, we could see iOS sixteen point four beta one. Last year. Apple released the 15.3 update, and the next day, they released the 15.4 the beta 1. So, I would expect to release the iOS 16.4 beta 1 as soon as tomorrow. Or, it could be, uh, we could have some new features like Apple Music, Apple Musical, or some major new features as well. So that's everything about iPadOS 16.3. So anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.